الحمد لله الحمد لله رب العالمين نستعينه ونستغفره ونسأله الكرامة فيما بعد الموت لنا ولجميع المؤمنين ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهدي الله فلا مضل له ومن يدلل فلا هادي له أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن سيدنا وسندنا ومولانا محمدا أرسله الله بالهدى ودين الحق ليظهره على الدين كله ولو كره المشركون وبعد قال الله تعالى عز وجل في الكتاب الكريم أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم ورحمتي وسعت كل شيء وقال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم وهذا الحديث عن أبي هريرة رضي الله عنه قال الله تعالى عز وجل إن رحمتي سبقت غضبي My brothers, sisters, youth, children, esteemed seniors, Islam is the deen of rahmah. And the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is the prophet of rahmah. And before we go into a practical application of this concept of ar-rahmah, mercy, compassion, let us understand what it means. Because there is no application of concepts without understanding of these concepts. We live in a time of noticeable diversity when it could be easily to detect racists people of bigotry people who cannot settle with the other who are different than them I call this time modern jahiliya modern ignorance we call ourselves modern we call ourselves progressive, yet we still live in the time of tribalism. And that's not modernism. Ignorance and prejudice are part of today's discourse. And ignorance and prejudice my brothers and sisters of human worth are against our deen. God Almighty has honored every single human being. وَلَقَدْ كَرَّمْنَا بَنِي آدَمْ Inclusive. Every human being has been given honor and dignity. And who are we? to dishonor that human being. In this moment of Rabiul Awwal, we often speak about Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, commemorate this great personality. We should do that every single day. Salawat and follow the Sunnah, speak about him and his guidance. But it is customary that we more than ever talk about Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam during this month. I will utilize the opportunity, inshallah, to speak about a person who has been called by God Almighty and his mission mercy to all humanity and beyond. So, if you and I would like to put a claim about our deen, in terms of how it interacts with social discourse, how it interacts with people, how people live. If we would like to describe Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and his actions towards people, we could with some certainty say that Islam is the deen of Rahmah 
And Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is the prophet of Rahmah. Actually, if you would like to define whole message of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, there is a term that God Almighty used in Surah Al-Anbiya. وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَاكَ إِلَّا رَحْمَةً لِلْعَالَمِينَ and we have not sent you but as a mercy to all the worlds, humanity and beyond. Rahma is not only translated as a mercy, it's a very comprehensive term. English is poor to describe this term in one word. It's a, com it's a compassion. It's a kindness, it's love, it's mercy, it's tolerance, it's patient with the other. These are all terms that come under the concept of a rahmah. Basically, it could be defined as an inclination to treat people with kindness and compassion. The act of being forbearing and not harsh with people. The compassionate treatment and attitude towards others. This is how we and what we should as Muslims understand under the term Ar-Rahma, mercy. Many classical scholars of Islam have given their opinion, one that really fits well with today's discourse, specifically for 21st century is the opinion of Ibn al-Qayyim al-Jawzi rahmatullahi alayhi who said that the goal of life is to be beneficial to all of the creation of God Almighty. That's the goal. That's the purpose of our life. To be beneficial to all of the creation of God Almighty. And then said, he said, and to be merciful to all under all all conditions and circumstances. And this is the Rahmah. This is the mercy by which Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was sent. This is the mercy by which Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was sent. So the Rahmah, it's the spirit of our deen. It's the core value of the message of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and it is not strange to understand it this way: that it is the spirit of Islam and it is the core value of the message of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Not at all. Why? Because the originator of the message is Ar Rahman, Ar Rahim, one who originated the the message of Deen. And the message of mercy is God Almighty Himself, who said, وَرَحْمَتِي وَسِعَتْ كُلِّ شَيْءٍ My mercy envelopes, my mercy, my mercy encompasses every single thing. And my mercy, as in Hadith Qudsi, Reported by Abu Huraira radiallahu anh, that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, قَالَ اللَّهُ تَعَالَى عَزَّ وَجَلْ إِنَّ رَحْمَتِي سَبَقَتْ قَضَبِي My rahmah, my mercy, supersedes my anger. So we as Muslims, my brothers and sisters, believe that the source of mercy is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And He has asked all prophets, and specifically, O Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, who was presented at the Prophet of Mercy to teach their followers to be merciful, to be compassionate. And Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told us about himself. He said, and this is narrated that, that by uh, Salih radiallahu anh, who said, and hadith is sahih uh, in Damiri, who said, the Prophet, peace be upon him, says, Ya Yuhannas, Ya Yuhannas, Innama ana rahmatun, I am the mercy. 
And when he explained to the companions about his asma, his names, he said, Ana Muhammad, Ana Ahmed, wa muqaffa, wal hashir, wa nabiyu tawba, wa nabiyu rahma. I am Muhammad, Ahmed, the final, the gatherer, prophet of Toba and the prophet of mercy. These were descriptions that Sahaba, radiallahu anhum ajma'een, learned from Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And he, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, used methodology of rahmah with dealing with all people. The way he dealt with his companions, the way he dealt with his family, the way he dealt with his enemies, sinners, is the methodology of Rahmah. And he stood in opposition to anyone who was merciless. So he said in one of the hadith by Abu Dawood, hadith as Sahih, La tunza'u rahmatu illa min shaqi. Rahmah. Is not removed from anyone but wretched person, ill-mannered and miserable, harsh-hearted person. Subhanallah, not one of the Muslims would like to be shaqi. Not one of us would like to be wretched, miserable, that Prophet peace be upon him spoke about. And this mercy does not apply only to your spouse, to your children, to your body from your own country, from your own culture. It doesn't apply only to people whom you love. It applies to those who are distant from you. How do we know that? Because Prophet peace be upon him told us. He said once to the companions, by Allah, the one in whose hand is my soul? You will not enter paradise until you are merciful to others. They said, Nahnu ya Rasulullah, we are. We are merciful to others. He said, Innahu laysa bi rahmati ahadakum khasatahu. It's not only rahmah of those who are around you, Spe special people of, of yours. People whom you love. Walakin rahmatul But the mercy that involves everybody else. So in a nutshell, my brothers and sisters, mercy is the core value of our faith. Mercy comes from the originator who is merciful and compassionate. Ar-Rahman, Ar-Rahim. He sent prophets to teach us about mercy and to teach us that mercy is not only about myself and my close friends and relatives, but about those whom I disagree with. It could be sinners, it could be non-believers, it could be enemies too, as Prophet peace be upon him has shown that mercy. We pray to God Almighty, we beg of him to make us of those who would understand the concept of mercy, to make us of those who teach and preach this concept. We pray to God Almighty that we would follow Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu and his Sunnah in application of the mercy in our daily life and that that application would, would be not just with people whom we love but people whom we sometimes disagree with. كلام الله الملك العزيز العلام كما قال الله تبارك وتعالى في ندم الكلام وإذا كري القرآن فاستمعوا له وأنصتوا لعلكم ترحمون أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن الدين عند الله الإسلام الحمد لله الحمد الكامل والصلاة والسلام على رسولنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين تعظيما لنبيه وتكريما لفخامة شأن شرف صفي فقال عز وجل من قائل مخبرا وآمرا إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي 
يا ايها الذين امنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل على محمد وعلى ال محمد كما صليت على ابراهيم وعلى ال ابراهيم انك حميد مجيد وبارك على محمد وعلى ال محمد كما باركت على ابراهيم وعلى ال ابراهيم انك حميد مجيد ربنا تقبل منا انك انت السميع العليم وتوب علينا يا مولانا انك انت التواب الرحيم ربنا لا تزغ قلوبنا بعد اذ هديتنا وهب لنا من لدنك رحمه انك انت الوهاب اللهم انك عفو تحب العفو فاعف عنا يا رب العالمين و الله وي اسك اوف يو تو ميك اس اوف ذوز هو ليرن هو ستادي اباوت لايف اوف بروفيت محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم هو ابلاي ذا كونسيبت اوف ميرسي ان اور لايفز وي اور سيلفز وي اور فاميلي ممبرز وي اور هوم وي لاف اند كير وي اور برادرز اند سيسترز ان اور كوميونيتي وي بيبل هو ار ديفرنت ذان اس those whom we differ from ya rabbal alamin we pray to you that you save us and save all of humanity from covid-19 subhana rabbik rabbil izati ma yasifun wa salamu ala al mursalin walhamdulillah inna allah ya'mur bil adl wal ihsan wa ita'i dhil qurba wa yanha 'anil fahsha'i wal munkar wal baghy ya'idukum la'al